what is vibrational success? I get asked this all the time, so I thought I would kind of break it down into two episodes. So we'll start with the first one today to kind of dive in and really kind of explain how your energy, your state of being, how that impacts your thinking process, how that impacts the action that you take in your life and ultimately impacts what it is that you create and manifest in your experience. So you might be wondering why I've been like playing these little pieces of music over the last couple of years and injecting these little guided processes in and uh, talking about different mindsets, different states of being, different frequencies, so to speak, that um, can help you ultimately to kind of tune the strings of your life so that you can bring your music, your passion, your calling out to a higher level level. So you might ask, well, what does it mean tune my strings? Well, I always use the guitar as a metaphor for you and me. We have facets. We have our health, our relationships, our prosperity, our careers, our spirituality, the joy, the fun, the happiness that we experience in life. Those are the strings. We, of course, take action through those facets. That's the strumming and the plucking. And then, of course, we produce results. That's the music that we put out into the world, our resonance, our vibration, our sound. And ultimately, that sound creates our experience. It creates our results. It creates our challenges that we have in life. And I don't care how masterfully you play in order to really optimize our potential. We need to be in tune and in harmony. We need to be able to have the strings in tune in order to have any chance whatsoever of playing beautiful music. So the question always arises, how do I know when I'm out of tune? What puts me out of tune? And that's what I want to dive in today. And this really opens up the door to what it is that I do with sound, what it is that I do with vibrational healing work, <clears throat> excuse me, and ultimately how it can help improve your life, help you to reduce stress, revitalize your health, uh, create amazing shifts in your life and breakthroughs, ultimately by helping you discover how your energy shapes and shifts your experience. And when you combine that energy, your state of being with the action that you take into the world, you'll be amazed at what it is that you can manifest, transcend, break through, whatever it is that you truly desire. So I have to go back to a story. I remember Dr. Jones was the gentleman that discovered the healing frequencies in my music. He made his transition a number of years ago, and I was kind of like out in the wilderness after that. He was kind of my mentor. He was educating me about quantum physics, about spirituality, about consciousness, about the world that we live in. We had some pretty amazing discussions, let me tell you that. It's not every day you get to hang out with one of those dudes. It's got more letters after his last name than his last name itself. And um, I learned a tremendous amount. And after he made his transition, I was kind of out in the wilderness. I was really kind of not really sure about what I'm supposed to do how I'm supposed to express myself, how this energy coming through me, being projected out through the music. Uh, I wasn't really sure how to utilize that, how to optimize it, how to really bring it forward to really give the maximum benefits for people that I was working with in session work and, and doing um, healing processes with. So one day of all circumstances and situations, I get an email from a friend of mine, Joseph, who loved to send me these conspiracy theory videos. This was back when conspiracy theorists were, was like a dirty word, you know, don't, don't even talk about that, man. And uh, he sent me this video one day. It was actually with David Icke, which is probably the king of conspiracy theorists, so to speak. And I remember listening to the video and I heard him say this quote, and I've referenced it before on this channel. I'm going to reference it again because it truly changed the path of what I'm doing and how it all fits into play. So the quote goes like this. People think we need to seek enlightenment. No, we are enlightened. That is our natural state. What is unnatural is the state that we have been put into. We need to rise above the vibrational barriers and the limiting belief systems that have held us in a state of unenlightenment. It's not about seeking it. It's about removing what is stopping us from being what we already are. 
You see, we truly are magnificent expressions of life. You already are the most advanced technology on the planet, a super biological wireless computer that is connected to the ultimate super internet where you have access to everything you need to heal your life, transcend your uh, challenges in life, make your dreams come true, fulfill your purpose, have, make a positive difference in the world if that is truly what you desire and ultimately to experience your divinity, experience your unlimited potential, experience just how extraordinary you truly are. Now, I don't have to remind us, sometimes we get off the beaten path. Sometimes we get a little lost. Sometimes our strings get a little out of tune. And no matter how hard we play life, we can't create what we want to create. So that means that we must learn how to tune the instrument, tune the super biological wireless computer that you are. And that quote reveals two powerful steps to be able to do that. First of all, one, vibrational barriers. What are they? You know, we have put in 80,000 man-made chemicals into our air, food, and water. We've surrounded ourselves with the latest and greatest technological breakthroughs. We're exposing ourselves to EMS, Wi-Fi, 5G, 4G, 3G, smart meters, 80,000 man-made chemicals, preservatives, chloramines in our water, all these different things that we are exposed to that are disrupting how this mechanism operates. This is how I first got into the whole field of doing transformational work through music, is that we need to rise above the vibrational barriers to enhance our connection so that we can deepen our insights, so that we can deepen our intuitions, so that we can enhance our creativity, so that we can operate mentally, process information, think clear, have less stress impacting and choking down this amazing vehicle that we are. But because of these vibrational barriers, we're all being exposed to them. You know, we all carry one on our hip 24-7 pretty much or keep it next to the side of our bed. And Doc Jones told me way back when, he said, in order for humanity to rise to the next level, to move up the vibrational scale or what I call the cosmic radio dial, we need to rise above the negative effects of the vibrational barriers that we're exposed to in our environment so that we can begin to reveal the divine potential that is within each and every one of us. And I don't know about you, but I want to have enhanced connection. Why would we want to go back to phone modem when we can have cable and Wi-Fi and wireless at really high speeds? It just reminds me of when the page used to you know, unfold so slowly. Yes, I'm dating myself. That's okay. But our technology has advanced. And the more that we rise above those vibrational barriers the more we enhance our connection, the more we operate at a higher level. On a physical level, we're going to experience more strength, flexibility, endurance, coordination, and balance. On a mental level, we're going to have better memory, focus. We're going to be able to access the creativity, the intuition, the insight that's available, that's there for all of us. But because we've submerged ourselves into this static and filled world, where we're so stressed out and our mind's all over the place and we have ADD now is the most common letters in the alphabet because we're bouncing all over the place because of what we're being exposed to. This is where the uniqueness of the work that I'm doing with sound comes in. Because sound healing traditionally is where you produce a note or tone that has an inherent benefit to it upon the listener. This is a little bit different. Obviously, I'm producing a number of notes and tones as I play music, but I'm actually using music as a carrier wave to bring forward into the third dimensional world, so to speak, into the world of the senses, frequencies that can tune and harmonize and null and void the vibrational barriers that we're all exposed to. 
And as a result, what are the benefits of that? The benefits is a dramatic reduction of stress. The benefit is to increase your physical energy, your strength. The benefit is to enhance your mental functioning, how you process information, your memory. Plus, you can access higher degrees of information, of downloads from the ultimate super internet, that field of unlimited possibility, call it God, source energy, the field, whatever you want to define it as. That's the possibility that is arising for all of us. And in order for us to make that consciousness shift, in order for us to change this crazy world that we live in, we all need to ascend up the cosmic radio dial and to begin to tune into new stations of unlimited possibility. So that's why crazy Mark guy who comes on and plays these little pieces of music every week through YouTube and through social media, they're little vibrational injections to help you to tune the strings of your life so that you can move forward and be true to who and what you are, to what you've come here to experience, to what you've come here to learn and to grow from. And in order to truly reach your full potential, in order to create the life of your dreams or compose the life of your dreams, you have to be in tune. And the first step to doing that is rising above the vibrational barriers that we're all exposed to in our environment. Now, some steps that you can do to do that, obviously, is to play the music in your space. That's how I got involved in this whole arena way back when, almost 20 years ago, even before Wi-Fi and all that cool stuff. You have to know and avoid those things. Some other things that you can do is obviously eat better quality foods. We're realizing this more and more every day. Drink better quality water. Get away from processed, packaged, preservatives, all those different things that disrupt the energy disrupt this amazing, sensitive, powerful vehicle that's moving through the human experience. Have to be in tune and in harmony. So another great way is to get out in nature, get your feet in the water, get out to the ocean if there happens to be one nearby. Breathe in the air, feel the sun, get your feet on the ground. Will ultimately help you to tune your field, focusing on your breath, engaging in a practice like meditation, yoga, prayer work, whatever it might be, take that on. Be diligent. The instrument goes out of tune all the time. I can play a song, it's out of tune before I even finish the song. So what do I have to do? Tune it. And that's in essence what we're doing here through vibrational success, through the music, what Mark Romero Music is bringing forward is vibrational resources to ultimately to help you to restore harmony to your body, your mind, and spirit so that you can begin to unlock your potential. And the first step to doing that is to null and void the negative effects of the vibrational barriers in your environment of what you're surrounded with. So if you have any questions about that, please ask in the comments. I will respond. And of course, I have to play a little something, a little opportunity to just breathe in some notes. This is kind of a little ambient version of the journey. Which is off the Vibrational Success series. <laughs> So I invite you just to breathe in the notes. You're such a beautiful, powerful expression of life. Now, whether you believe that or not, that's the truth of who you are. Deep breath.
breathe. We're on the most amazing journey of unveiling the divine masterpiece that's within each and every one of us. We all came here to play the most elaborate game in the universe, the cosmic game of hide and seek, hide our power, hide our unlimited potential, hide our extraordinary ability to shape and shift matter and energy, and spend a lifetime removing the pieces that say we're anything but magnificent, anything but extraordinary, anything but unlimited in our potential, and rising above all of the miscreations that we have put into our space and begin to move up that radio dial so that we can begin to access more of who and what we really are. So today is all about rising above those vibrational barriers. In the next episode, I'm going to talk about the most powerful energy disruptor in the whole complete universe and how it is the biggest cause of the challenge of what we experience in our lives, the biggest cause behind the disharmony we experience in our health and our well-being. And we're going to dive in and share with you how you can begin to transcend all the vibrational barriers in your life and the limiting belief systems so that you can begin to build momentum in your unveiling of the unlimited potential that's within you. If you like that tune, you can download a free track uh, in the comments below. There's a little link. You can sign up for a free gift for the journey. And it's also part of the vibrational success series, which I'll also put in the links below. This is my most powerful music series for Nolan voiding the vibrational barriers in your environment so that you can begin to enhance your connection to the field of unlimited possibility. Thank you so much for taking the time to tune in. Do have a very harmonious day.